Uh, Kaya, hello, uh, greetings from Tokyo. Hi, nice to meet you, Edward, and nice to meet everybody. Thank you for joining our community. So can you share a little bit uh, about the uh, reason why uh, you joined the group and what is your story? Okay, I really like um, the group because there are like so many women entrepreneurs and it's like you can hear like many interesting stories and um, you can find help on it if you have problems with it, with, with anything. So my story is actually kind of interesting, interesting because I used to be an international lawyer and I worked, um, I was an assistant researcher at Harvard University in Boston. I worked for international um, law firms. I worked for European Commission, European Parliament, and it's like I lived in five countries. Um, but actually the law was never my thing, if you understand me. And it's like, I was always involved in a healthy living, healthy lifestyle in sport. Um, and, um, also my, my personal, um, health problems, um, lead me to where I am now. Um, when I was 19, I got celiac disease and I spent six months in a hospital so um, I needed to heal myself, actually, because um, I, it's like the, the doctors were just feeling, filling me uh, um, up with pills and nothing helped. And I was like six months just lying there. So I started with yoga, with meditation, with um, positive mindset. I started reading books from Liesl Hay and like all different kinds of authors. And this was like my first switch in life, which changed how I see things and I started traveling I started like you know exploring the world and I started seeing other things than just career um, so this was the first time but I didn't listen to it enough <laughs> so then also came another one and when I was 26 I got a burnout and um, actually it's like again I spent like a lot of time in hospitals and then it's, it's like I decided that I will completely change my life um, in a sense that um, I really started um, like listening to myself more. I started um, rest. I started to use rest. Things and I always help my friends with like losing weight. With um, I was writing the menus. Um, I was training them. Um, and they all said, like, Kaya, I think it's like, this is what you should be doing. Uh, we think this is your, like, you know, this is your route. This is why you, what you should be doing in life. Um, so I said to myself, okay, I started slowly. I really like to travel. And that it's like, I also realized from all the experiences that I had, um, that it would be much better if I, um, if I do like something online, that's great. So uh, you mentioned you 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 were a lawyer, and actually that's mm -hmm. a career which many people uh, actually dream to have to be a lawyer. And uh, I'm curious, and I think many uh, people who are watching this video are also curious. What was the reaction of your family and your friends when you said, "I don't want to be a lawyer. I just want to be a <laughs> fitness coach or." <laughs> I just want to help people with their health. And then after all those hard work, you quit. So how was the reaction of your uh, parents and friends? I mean, you know how it is. My friends actually really supported me because they knew what I really wanted. Um, on the other hand, myself, um, I said to myself, I can always return to law if I want to. I was highly successful in it. Um, my parents were kind of shocked, <laughs> but my dad is also an entrepreneur, so he understands like that I was growing up in that kind of a family. After like a lot of talking, <laughs> they they accepted it. So right. <laughs> okay. But okay. So and 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 then uh, based on your uh, personal uh, situation, you decide to change uh, completely your life and you start your own business so uh, can you share with us like uh, what kind of difficulties you faced at that early beginning when you start your own business and how long it uh, took to actually start to make some money and that you can say okay now i can uh, have a new career and how was that transformation for you emotionally and 
financially? It was kind of scary at the beginning, but like I said, for me, it's maybe it was much easier than for other entrepreneurs because I'm coming from that kind of a family. Mm -hmm. And I was living, I was growing up in a sense that we never knew what will be the next, next month. So for me, even though it, it hears like funny, but for me, this is more comfort zone than going to work every day. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just somehow believe that everything in the end will be okay. This is also how I shifted my mindset in a sense that I believe that if you wish something and if you work for it, it will, it will come true. It's like mm -hmm. all wishes that I had in my life, they came true. You know, all of them did. So it's, um, So I believe also the same for my business. And especially I believe if you work something with passion and if you really like something and, you, and on the other hand, if you help people and you have this good karma, good energy, good vibes, I think everything is possible. So um, I also did an Ironman like um, in Hawaii, in Kona uh, in June this year. Mm -hmm. So since then, I'm even like more believer that everything is possible because if I it's like if I was able to do an Iron Man I mean everything is possible <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, so I know uh, what Iron Man means but like maybe for some people who don't know what Iron Man is so can you just uh, uh, can you give them idea how long it takes and what is the total distance in kilometers yeah it's like I didn't have Iron Man So this is, um, which means that this is 1.9 kilometers of swimming and 90 kilometers of cycling and half marathon at the end. So, <laughs> and this is half. So the, the full one is like uh, one time more. <laughs> I was training for one year. Um, it was really fun. Uh, I loved it. But um, yeah, it was a great experience. I would do it again for sure. It's good for your mindset and like also for your business, I think. Can you share a little bit more, uh, like, who are your uh, clients and who are the people uh, you are helping with and what kind of problems they have when they come to you? Well, actually, my clients are mostly high successful women mm -hmm. because it's like they really relate to my story um, and I can really help them. And also the exercise and the whole workout that I developed and also the nutrition regimes that I have and face yoga that I'm doing, it's actually all developed for women who don't have a lot of time and who want um, like quick results and who want to manage their stress. So this is somehow, so I, I mostly have like high successful profiles of women. I also have a few men. So it's like, you are not, <laughs> you are not off the spot. Of course it's um, what I think it's most important at my thing that I'm doing. It's like comparing to other personal coaches or trainers it's like i'm really it's like before we start working out together or before i do you um or before we do a face yoga or before i do like nutrition counseling i want to know your story you always have like 30 minutes of free like you know um coaching with me in a sense because i want to know your story in a sense if you are married if you are not if it's like what are you doing uh, what is your stress level like like you know what is your fitness level i want to know things about you and according to that i put like regime out for you which is especially designed for you what i um what i'm really good at is women in a sense also me when i was training for the ironman It's like women are different than men and nobody in sport industry done on a supplement, for instance, sure. or that kind of things, or also food. They are done on men, not on women. And it's like women, we have periods, you know, and we have different whole hormonal balance. So this is so, so, so important. And we, I think we, we should talk more about it. So how about women who are not successful? How about, but they still want to do transformation with their body, with their... No, nutrition. of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I have different kinds of clients, but you ask me which ones are the which one I have the most. So mm -hmm. the most I have like you know highly successful women, but I also have students. I also have models, for instance, mm -hmm. because it's like the workout that I designed is actually lengthening the muscles. I don't like these bulky muscles from fitness. You know, it's like I don't like these big asses and like, you know, the, the fitness thing. I like lean muscles because I was also like a ballet dancer. 
I was a gymnast and I'm, I was, I'm a yoga teacher. So I really like these lean, skinny muscles. So I have also many like women clients who want to have that kind of a body that I have. So, or like a ballet dancer have, or like, um, I don't know, a model have. So actually I have also like a lot of models and like just a lot of normal women who want to have lean body. So also that. And uh, how your experience and education as a lawyer helping you in this business, what you are doing now? Oh, it helps me a lot. It's like I would never, it's like I would never change a second of my life. I think it's a re really good thing that I did all the things that I did because it helps me a lot. And I also had a startup like five, like three years ago or something like that. So it's like, I think it's really, really good to have different kinds of experiences in your life and they all help you with your business. I cannot even imagine me just being a personal trainer straight from the beginning. It's like, you know, it's about the time management. It's about how you, how you speak, how you treat people, how you work with them, how you understand them. It's like I said, it's like, I mean, I have, um, I have a high education and I worked in a really high profile corporate jobs. So I can really, relate to all the people that come to me and I can really talk with them. It's no problem like me talking with anybody. So, okay. yeah, it helps a lot. <laughs> okay, so for all uh, women who are uh, models in our group, and you can, uh, they can work with you, of course, and of course, yeah. if, if they need some uh, legal advice, they, they can also ask you for the legal advice. <laughs> also, also. <laughs> yeah, also and, that. <laughs> and, if you can package including in one price, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, oh so um, um, my next question is, uh, what is the impact you want to have with your business? What is the vision of your business? What do you want to achieve? Yeah. Actually, the thing that is fulfilling me the most in my business is helping clients. When you see a client who lost weight or who is having more lean muscles now or who I help with like, you know, with my mindset coaching or who has like less wrinkles because of face yoga and she's just like so grateful. I'm so, so happy. So this is like the feedback from the clients is which is filling me up. I cannot tell you how much. And it's like having this impact on, on people. It's like what I wanted like since ever, you know, and it's like, and I just like, receiving like a lot of like positive messages in my instagram account also because it's like i have an instagram account and i have kind of like a lot of followers like and they just like when i post something like eating healthy or whatever it's like they are thanking me and i think this is so so nice so my long-term vision is really to like to to have like this kaya brand you know which would have like um I don't know, my, my, my workouts, like, you know, my face yoga regimes, my um, healthy nutrition, I don't know, then like, you know, my, um, my cup, cupboards, my t-shirts, <laughs> that would be so great to have like this community of women who would be like, you know, who would just feel better, who would just like, you know, I don't know, just like be happy, like, you know, positive, like, you know, healthy. Um, I mean, this is my long-term vision to really help people and to have this yeah, community which, with who I can work and who um, help each other also, who talk with each other. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that would be amazing. <laughs> so welcome to our group. I think you'll find a great community for, for yourself and for your vision. Like, uh, so uh, what is your uh, favorite uh, movie? And why? Well, my favorite movie is still Dirty Dancing. Why? Because I was a dancer, um, and it just—I still love dancing. I so it's like so many days. I just like put music on and dance my feet off. <laughs> 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 I love it. I just love it, and I think it's like I don't know. It's just like for me, this movie represents something. Well, what I still am. It's like you know, and it, it's just a beautiful movie. I like old movies also. <laughs> Great. And uh, you mentioned before this interview that you used to live in uh, five countries. So I'm mm -hmm. wondering, uh, based on all those experiences, what is your favorite food? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a celiac, I have a celiac disease, so I'm, I'm gluten-free. Uh -huh. um, but it's like, um, I really love Italy. 
like in a sense of food wise they are huge foodies which i'm too so um actually i like healthy food very much since i'm a nutritionist and i like to live healthy um so i would say like different kinds of veggies on different kinds of like ways prepared with i like i like fish mm-hmm. um i like seafood um i also like good quality meat um so and i like um yeah i like a lot of like i um i like to have like different kinds of salads and like grilled vegetables with um with nuts or beans or um hummus that kind of things so hope you had the lunch before or you will have lunch <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing intermediate fasting. Okay. <laughs> so it's like I will have lunch when we finish. <laughs> okay, okay. Great. Uh, is there something you you would like to share uh, with our community which maybe nobody else can? Yeah, what I would say for for sure is what I learned through my life and through my diseases is that you should all enjoy life and you should all be grateful every day because you never know which day is your last day and it's just like enjoying and being grateful for small things like you know for a cup of tea for sunshine for um i don't know like i don't know buying yourself flowers or like you know meeting somebody who you haven't seen or just like just being grateful and like being happy i think that's the most important thing in life and also making other people happy you know maybe just one smile per day can i don't know can totally change other people's lives you know the like small things matter i think we should be more we should do more of this like small things which in my opinion are very very important so i would say this and really really live the life that you want to live not the society is expecting from you not what your parents are expecting for you from you not what your parent like you know your friends just um living the life that you want and not hurting other people i think that's like what i would say <laughs> kaya thank you so much thank you and uh, we are very happy to have you in our group and looking forward to see how your uh, brand is uh, growing and improving and how you're going to achieve all uh things you mentioned uh, during this interview thank you thank you very much for your invitation and like for the interview <laughs>